Hello 2020 users and welcome to this online on-demand video. My name is Santiago Morales and I'm the product manager of 2020 Design Live. So this presentation is on why we think you should migrate to 2020 Design Live. Let's get to it. 2020 Design Live comes in two flavors, the foundation and the full version. The foundation closely relates to the essential version of the perpetual license and the full version design live corresponds closely to the complete version uh, of, tw of the perpetual license. A bit more on the following slides. So as I said, foundation correlates to essential. It has all the same capability, provide access to the generic catalogs, but more, it has access to the latest easy render capability. Uh, of course, it's a subscription license, which means that it's a cloud-based uh, license. So you no longer rely on a USB dongle key that you might lose or get stolen. And furthermore, it provides access to cloud configurable generic catalog. A bit more on that later. If we look at the full version of 2020 Design Lite, which corresponds closely to complete, it embeds all the capability of complete plus more. Let's go line by line. It has all the legacy functionalities, which means that all the functionalities that you're currently used to in 2020 design are accessible through 2020 Design Live. This also means that you can have access to all your old kit files. You can use, reuse all the OSKIT files in the 2020 Design Live. So you have access to all your file-based generic catalogs. You have access to the file-based manufacturer catalog, of course, and you have access to the legacy Red rendering engine, also called Redway. So you're not losing any of those capabilities. You still feel strong, or you really like Redway, rest assured it's still available for you. Now, functionality that are of interest for 2020 Design Live, as I mentioned before, the easy render, it's a subscription license, and it provides access to cloud configurable generic catalog and cloud configurable manufacturer catalog. Now, this is where we're starting uh, in the new playing field. And if you look closely at the end, we also chip, uh, chip in the closet functionality, which was available as an add-on to the Design Complete license. All right, 2020 Design Live. Let's go now in the details. Cloud configurable items. Let's take a look. Let's pull up 2020 Design. So you're familiar already with this. This is your 2020 Design Live application. You still have your elevation, your floor plan, your cloud browser on the left hand side. And for those of you who are, who are asking, do I still have access to my local catalogs? There they are. So you still have access to all your currently um, installed file based catalog. Going back to cloud browser, just a quick peek. You have a whole slew of catalogs that are available. Here at the top, starting with 2020, are all the generic catalogs. And at the end, we have all the manufacturer catalogs. So you see a whole slew of available catalogs that really accessible for you in 2020 Design Live. Cool. We have a perspective window, which includes the easy render capability, a bit more on that later. And of course, you have the cloud configure, configurator. So some of you might be used to uh, using the file base, of course. And in order to produce multiple style kitchen, you had to use multiple catalogs. So you had to use duplicate the catalogs, then make sure that you're pulling the right cabinets for the right section of your kitchen. So it's a bit of a convoluted process where with 2020 Design Live and Cloud Configurable Item, this all goes away. I'm just gonna do you a short demonstration. We have many uh, videos on that accessible for you if you wanna dive into more details of Cloud Configurable Product. But I'm just gonna show you a quick overview of how I can do this or reconfigure my island a different finish within uh, with a few steps. So here I have my floor plan and I'm going to simply rubber band and select these, uh, these cabinets. When I do this, you'll see the cloud configurator has identified five items. So a couple of cabinet moldings, which are all finish of Earl Grey. Okay. If I hover here, you notice that they are highlighted in green on my floor plan. So all I have to do, I'm going to change the finish to Earl Grey to something drastically different, perhaps Arctic White. So only by 
Selecting those five items and clicking Artequai, the system now fetches all that new information and updates the cabinets accordingly. So just with a few clicks, I was able to have a different style island cabinet. So I can do this with door styles, with drawer fronts, with finishes, box construction, depending on the catalog that I'm using, in this case, WF cabinetry, I can have access to all these details. And furthermore, you might notice here that Artec has a plus 12% upcharge. This is really neat. So this is the power of the cloud. Since it's feature and option, any selection that you make from the cloud configurator will essentially update your price. So the quote, the quote reflects an accurate pricing and you don't have to worry about that. You worry on making sure that your design makes sense, adheres to your customer needs and that the system calculates all the quotes and the prices accordingly for you. Awesome. Let's go back to our presentation here. Easy render. Now, this is the latest and greatest uh, rendering engine that we've introduced in the latest version of 2020 Design Live. And I'm really happy to present it to you. It brings out a cool new uh, capability and it brings out really a lot more efficiency for the end user. So if I stay here and then go on to my next slide, these are some of the benefits for Easy Render. So essentially, you'll have no pixelation, white walls will appear white and white cabinets will appear white as well. This was somewhat of a challenge with our previous rendering engine. Other key, key points is that we've re, re, remastered the default settings of our, of our uh, renderings. So whenever you bring up a perspective, the lighting comes up by default is already looking great. So you need to focus on, again, your design style and let so you're not worrying too much about adding additional lights and whatnot, which was somewhat of a, uh, of a challenge with our previous rendering engine with a lot of issues or a little, a lot of uh, users signify that they needed to add additional lighting to make a scene right up. Realistic materials create fo photo-like output. And of course, most importantly, it's the speed at which these rendering are produced. You might ask how much faster? up to 80% faster. Now think about this. If a rendering used to take a minute to uh, eight minute to render with this new rendering engine, it's cut down to a single minute. So you're winning a lot of time focusing on your projects and just producing the right output for your customers so you can create more projects. Cool. So in short, the easy render benefits so easier and faster to set up your projects to render. So all the default settings are taken care of so that you create a nice rendering from the get-go. The speed at which these are done is a lot faster. So it, it implies the perspective, the high quality rendering, and of course the 360 panoramic images. What do you get at the end? Well, of course you get better looking renderings with no pixelization, better representation of colors and finish and metals, and of course, better white palettes. Cool. On to my next topic here, 2020 Manager, which is another tool that we're working on and will integrate with 2020 Design. It's coming soon, but what will allow you to do is very interesting. So let's take a quick step back. Today, one of the challenges that I hear a lot from our users is how do they track and manage your project. How do I track my customers? Which project uh, is in which state? How do I make sure that my customer is getting the right feedback and I'm getting the right feedback from him as well? So this is what we're trying to address with 2020 Manager. What is 2020 Manager? Well, it's a web-based solution designed to efficiently manage customers' interaction. And this is key. A lot of our users I'm hearing are using any type of tool that they have under their hand. So it could be post-its, it could be Excel sheet, it could be whiteboards, it could be a paper and pencil. And for some of you that are dealing with 10 customer every single time, it's very easily to lose track of where you are with each project. 2020 Manager addresses that. So with this tool, you'll be able to manage your prospects, your customers, and your design. 
This is really interesting because we'll be giving you the possibility to upload your project from 2020 Design Live up to Manager. So there's going to be a central location where you can do all the tracking about your project and have access to the baseline of, a, of your projects of 2020 Design Live. Furthermore, you'll be able to manage the quotes straight from 2020 Manager. And this is interesting for some of you, which would like to have more uh, editing capability for the quotes. 2020 Manager will allow that. And you'll also be able to manage your purchases and sales. What does it look like? Here's a sneak peek. 2020 Manager, in short, in big, in um, high level, has three main areas. So you have an activities dashboard, you have a stage area, and you have a commercial dashboard. So if you concentrate yourself here on the center, center section, you notice that you have a list of projects, activities, and you have a list of customers. So every customer has a different stage. So you can know exactly where you are with respect to each of your customer. Are you, are you building a contract? Have you sent a quote to the customer? Are you in the design phase? Have you closed this project? And furthermore, if you look here at this column, if you have more than one designer working at a company, you'll be able to assign each project to a specific individual. So everybody has their clear task light out right in front of them. You'll be able to set up neg negotiated value very important, you'll be able to set up target dates for every of your stages. So it's impossible with this tool that projects will fall below. And if they do fall behind, you'll be able to know right away the status of each one. On the left hand side, as I said, you have a list of activity boards. You have, as I said, the status of each of, the, of all your activities, how many are completed, how many are late. I mean, they're completed but are late. And finally, on the right-hand side, you have a commercial dashboards, which provides you with the associated revenue of where you stand today. So how many, how many dollars are in progress? How many are completed? How many are lost? So if you're looking for some sort of quota to be met every month or every quarter, you'll be able to evaluate whether you're going to be beating those quota or not. Awesome. So I'm very excited about this 2020 manager tool. Hopefully it's going to be able, available for us soon, very soon. Oh, this is a very uh, fun um, functionality that's going to be available in 12.4 or is available today in 12.4 of 2020 Design Live, automated deployment and installation. I've been asking for this for quite some time and I'm very happy that we're, we're finally there. One of the challenges that I hear a lot from our users is how do I make sure to have the latest version? How do I make sure that I have all the bug fizzes or performance updates and I have access to the latest functionalities? And that was somewhat, sometimes a bit cumbersome. Well, now within the realm of 2020 Design Live, you'll be able to check where there's, whether there is another or an available update for you. So through this tool, you'll be able to ver validate or verify if there's an updated version for you. You'll be able, again, from 2020 Design Live, able to download that version. So you no longer have to look for that version somewhere on our server and download it manually and then install it. You can do it through everything through 2020 Design Live. Cool, very happy. All right, so some of the common questions I get about 2020 Design Live are the following ways. Number one, can I use 2020 Design Live on any of my computer? The answer, as we've seen earlier, is yes. You can install this application on as many computers as you'd like, and then through your license, you can sign in and sign out from any of these computers. So you can have one station at home and one station at work and still using that license between the two stations. You don't have to carry your dongle across the two stations. You can simply use your soft key. Number two, can I use my current projects on 2020 Design Live? Again, since you have access to all the functionalities of 2020 Design, you'll be able to reuse any projects that were saved in pre previous version. Number three, can I use my current file base local catalogs on 2020 Design Live? As we've seen earlier, yes, we can. You'll be able to 
reopen or reapply your uh, local catalogs into 2020 Design Live. Number four, how do I migrate? Well, there's two venues. One is by accessing the link that you have here at the bottom. So you're making the request to migrate to 2020 Design Live. Or the second option is to wait for your renew time. So whenever your renew of your maintenance and support is you, you'll get the opportunity to migrate to 2020 Design Live. Number five, is the migration to 2020 Design Live mandatory? The answer to that is absolutely not. We're not forcing anybody to migrate into 2020 Design Live. Uh, so if you'd rather stay with your perpetual key, that's okay. It's not a problem with us. It's just that you might be um, losing out on some of these functionality that I've presented to, today with, for you. These functionalities are, again, number one, cloud configurable items, the capability to easily add items from the cloud and configure, provide different styles for your projects. Number two, the easy render uh, rendering engine. So providing nice looking renderings in a short amount of time. Number three, soft key licensing. So you don't have to worry about losing or getting a key stolen. And finally, number four, automated deployment installation. So which allows you to be uh, to make sure that you have the latest and greatest version of 2020 Design Live on your computer. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. If you have any other questions, please also hesitate to reach us. There's a lot of information on our web pages, 2020spaces.com. There's uh, tons of knowledge articles that are accessible as well. So if you have any questions, please again, don't hesitate and look for any details or training material on 2020spaces.com. Thanks again. My name is Santiago Morales and have a nice day. Bye-bye.